Make some noise, ILWU! Woo! Whose house is this? Whose house? Whose house? I'm so impressed, brothers and sisters. Who are we? What do we want? When do we want it? Brothers and sisters, I'm here with my family and friends to support America's middle class, to support the ILWU, to support our community, to support our economy, and to, and to demand an agreement. The ILWU is an amazing part of this community. It's a fabric of the middle class and a piece of our community that without each and every one of you, we would not have a thriving community. Without you, we would not have a growing economy. And without you, we will not have an identity. My fear is that the inability to arrive at an agreement will lead to the permanent loss of business to our port complex. I was with Congresswoman Janice Hahn, who's a champion for us, and sends her regards. She's actually in flight right now. I spent this week with her, with the president, during the State of the Union address, and he mentioned that the middle class economics is the backbone of our economy here, and mentioned working people and families that thrive and make this community work. This Port of Los Angeles is the economic engine, not only regionally, but nationally, that makes up over 900,000 jobs in the area. It is the economic force of who we are. We say to the PMA, let the ILWU do their jobs. We say this to the PMA, let the ILWU clear our ports. For me, this is personal. I have my family here, my brothers and sister-in-law that work the docks, my cousins, my aunts and uncles, friends who I grew up with. The ILWU, God bless these docks, the dock workers who contribute to our local economy. We were joined by Banning High School to lead us in this march. To show that we are one harbor, one community, one family, and we're